Here we go. Daily card, all signs. Aries. Okay, higher self. This is not a card that's traditionally in the tarot deck. But again, this is just a message right now that you're really disconnected from yourself. I just got that message for you a moment ago. Uh, let's, let's just clarify that. Aries, please, today, daily card. Uh, embodiment of pentacles. So I feel like you're really focused on work. You're focused on the bag. You're focused on money. But you are a little disconnected from your from your, your higher self, your, your spiritual self. I, I want you to become self-aware today. I feel like you're not really grounded. Okay. Taurus, what's the guidance for Taurus today? five of swords reversed you're really feeling like you're ready to let bygones be bygones okay five of swords is a hard one victory okay maybe you were in conflict with someone maybe maybe you weren't in conflict with someone but perhaps in in competition with yourself needing to prove something to yourself um but really you know the five of swords is about a truce it's about a truce so I feel like Taurus, you're finally kind of just like having a conversation with someone or deciding to let a situation go, maybe letting somebody decide, okay, you know what, you can have it. I don't need it that bad. You know, it, it's, it's, you're exhausted. And I really feel like you're the one, I feel like you're the one that's deciding to be like, you know what, you got it. <laughs> like, that's the vibe it's giving. Gemini, what's up for Gemini today? Six of Cups reverse, stuck in the past reminiscing having a hard time moving on i actually got that for taurus actually too when i tried to record this a uh, few minutes ago and it didn't say but i got that for taurus as well so it's stuck in the past gemini that's fine you know do what you need to do but don't stay there all right especially if it's not helping you do what you know reflect on the past to reminisce reflect etc but don't stay there because you can't do anything to change the past you really can't. You did your best. I feel like the need. To, I feel the need to say you did your best. All right, um, Cancer. Inspiration of Swords. Page of Swords. You might be ready to communicate about something. Ready to share your voice, share your words, share your thoughts on something today. I feel like you're getting out the stationary, not literally, but figuratively. I feel like you're ready to communicate. The Page of Swords is somebody who is. Um, very eager to communicate very eager to share their thoughts and ideas and express themselves and prove to other people that they um they have something worth hearing does that make sense so i feel like that's where you are today cancer leo what we got for leo <clears throat> the lovers oh shit mm. the lovers now the, in this deck there's two cards for the lovers one is masculine one is feminine so maybe some of you can expect a feminine love interest coming forward doesn't have to be um a female but you know someone with maybe feminine energy nurturing energy i love that it's upright for you so something to do with a love interest today um positive sign especially if you're open to new connections or wanting to improve your relationship if you're in one positive sign i did say y'all were gonna be reconciling this month didn't i virgo what we got for virgo Eight of Swords reversed. Okay, here's the card up right. Um, you're really feeling like, I, I just said this. If you haven't watched this, go watch your video on Virgo Rest of September and on my YouTube. I just said that I feel like you feel like your hands are tied on a situation. And not, not necessarily that your hands are tied literally, but that's the imagery of the card, right? But it's it feels like it's in relation to somebody else. And with it coming up reverse, you can let go of that. It, it's just not your fight, Virgo. I don't know why you're stressing yourself out so much about a fight that's not even yours. So I like that it's coming out reverse for you, Virgo, because today's the day where you kind of get out of that limiting belief, that self-doubt and worry. Libra, what's up? What's up with Libra? Nine of Cups, bitch, what? This is definitely on track with what I've been saying for you, Libra. I just, as we enter into your month, golden egg i feel like it's like I, might, I feel like it should be a golden snitch i should really probably get a harry potter tarot deck i should see if one exists it probably does um nine of cups babe S expect some happiness and abundance today happiness contentment wish fulfillment coming through today libra scorpio what's up with scorpio seven of wands on the defensive on the defensive this did come up for, for capricorn when i recorded it the first time but it's coming up for you now uh, people are coming at you, but you need to hold your ground. Don't back down, Scorpio. 
Don't back down for what? Back down for what? I know that's not the lyrics, but that's what came to mind. Seven of Wands is maintaining your boundaries, staying in your cave, again, holding your position. However that resonates with you, Scorpio, hold your position. Stand your ground. Don't back off. Prove to people why you deserve to be there. Sagittarius. Okay, Seven of Pentacles reverse. You're just waiting and waiting. I just heard Ariana just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. You know what I gotta be. Keep on breathing. Those lyrics are significant. Hold on. Okay. Um way too much of my energy i look up and the whole world spinning you take my cares away mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. look up the lyrics because i can't they're not all coming to me right now but i feel like it's significant just keep breathing it's gonna be all good seven of pentacles how it relates to seven of pentacles look he's digging or they're, we don't know the gender. The, this person is jagging, j digging, trying to plant a seed and they want it to grow. They're waiting. They're patient. They're, they're waiting for their seeds to grow. They got a little, little progress, but they're waiting on more. When it's reversed, you're getting impatient. You're impatient for something and you're not sure if it's worth waiting anymore. And you're trying to, you're in the space of like, well, should I be pivoting? Should I be changing direction? Just breathe, baby. I, I feel like the best thing you can do right now is to wait and see how things unfold. Give yourself a timeline. If you don't hear by X date, then you're going to move on. But give yourself a timeline because you don't want to wait forever and ever. Give yourself maybe to the end of the week or something because what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to put anxious energy into a new situation. Okay. And I did say you guys were ex uh, exploring some new opportunities, new passions for the rest of this month. Capricorn. Oh, I picked two by mistake. Okay, so we have the Magician and the Emperor reversed. Two major Arcana cards. Wow. Here's the Emperor upright. The Emperor does connect to Aries. I feel like Capricorn, you're ready to get some shit done. You're ready to manifest some shit. You're, this is very active energy. You're tired of sitting on your laurels. You want to get something done. Now, when this Emperor pops up reverse, um, sometimes for me, it signifies two things. Either lack of direction or you're dealing with somebody difficult who if it's father figure energy sometimes maybe there's a frustration with the father figure um or someone just very very rash and um it's like toxic masculinity but i feel like with this magician card you're trying to turn it around i saw this video recently that was like we need to gaslight men more and i actually kind of agree and i'm seeing that and like looking at the magician and the emperor here i actually feel like you kind of need to gaslight a man in your life to your advantage take that take that how it resonates <laughs> just food for thought okay Aquarius here we go embodiment of cups now this is the um, king of cups reverse okay now king of cups is coming through today maybe you're feeling a little um, emotionally imbalanced i want to get another card for you because when i did that this is for you early and i didn't record i got the queen of swords and i kind of feel like you are in your element today so can you just clarify aquarius today temperance yeah i feel like really it's with this kind of energy here balance patience your inflow King of Cups, you're probably nurturing yourself, watering yourself, Aquarius. Getting yourself together. You're in a very balanced energy, patient energy. You're willing to compromise, you're willing to work with people. I also feel like you're in a restorative, and that's not really what the temperance means, it's more of the star. But I do feel like there is a yin and yang kind of energy happening here. But it's happening as a result of you caring for yourself. Okay? Okay, Pisces. Here we go. Hermit. You know what's crazy? I did this before and I got the Hermit for Pisces too. So this is definitely your card. 
Pisces, um, the hermit represents Virgo, but this is also a sign of you just kind of needing to withdraw, decompress, find the answers within, find your tr inner truth. That's what the hermit is about. It's taking time alone to kind of figure out your shit. And so that when you emerge from the staircase, when you go back into the world and you reemerge, you know exactly which direction you're going. You're not coming up lost and confused. Okay. I think I got everybody one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, twelve. I did twelve. Okay. I love you guys. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.